Hello folks. Uh, I've uh, long thought it was timely to make a video on um, surface finish of uh, the different ways we can work with with regards to scraping and the different techniques also. Uh, because uh, I've uh, been taught at least that there is a distinction between the exposed ways which is the top surface of course of uh, any way system and the unexposed ways which is the on the side. Uh, this is because uh, it is very important and for the underside the unexposed ways to have some sort of oil hold holding capacity. And um, uh, there is a method called flaking which improves that. These are deeper marks so hence they at least um, would not be as suitable as the other methods for the exposed ways because then you would also invite grit and then accelerate wear. So flaking is then left, as I have been taught at least, to the unexposed ways, to the underside of, uh, of a dull tail system for example or, or a flat way. And then um, uh, on top of either scraping or grinding of course you could also leave it with the uh, normal grind, uh, normal scraping, but on the exposed ways, then uh, on top of either uh, let's say um, planing or uh, means of straightening and flattening a piece, grinding of course would leave a, um, a nice finish. But you can also finish scrape, which I have done repeatedly and shown. But also then on make ornamental uh, scraping or for eye wash effect. On top, for example, and um, very shallow marks with um, with uh, what they call um, frosting. I think on South Bend number no. nine ways you have this. Uh, the guys there you have that. Uh, other methods could be like um, a Swiss pattern, these diamond marks, where you pull scrape to make that. Or also then, as I've done on one machine here, um, something called tripette grinding. I will make a video on this, these separate topics, I think, uh, just include some in this uh, short, very short uh, introduction, but make a topic on um, flaking at least, and on then also then showing what I have for footage from the tripet ground, ground bed we made. And here you have the CX-16, the Golmatic uh, copy of the Golmatic MD-23 milling machine. And um, I think this is a good example to show where it is appropriate to flake. Uh, this is built together like uh, the doping system here. And then top here comes the saddle. And on top that again, of course, the table. Which uh, runs in the dovetail like so. And um, here we have two exposed and two unexposed ways of course so if I take away the table here carefully uh, this will then reveal the unexposed ways here the first under the table which is of course appropriate to then flake and this is uh, accessible so to speak so I can use the Biax flaker here. Uh, I could of course also use uh, a hand flaking technique where I, I will show this later on this one. But um, saving time with the, with the Biax flaker here. And this would be like a good example of where to flake in my eyes at least to what I've taught. Not on top here. This I would leave like it is. Uh, ground or, or now it's of course then finish scraped and then underneath here another system again exposed ways finish scraped but you have the on the side here which is then the unexposed ways again accessible for the bike scraper so uh, I would use that and um, I have uh, shown how to. Uh, I will show you how to do this also with uh, both methods. Um, 
Then we have this guy here. Uh, you have the exposed ways here, so leave that. And then you have the unexposed ways down here. And this is rather tricky to use the biax on, like so. So in these cases, I revert to hand flaking, if at all flaking. Of course, these are light use hobby machines, so it is not so, at least uh, I imagine, so uh, important to, to flake them. Uh, but on the industrial machines, like uh, I think Richard told us about a story about the bridge port, one was being flaked, the other one was not, and the flaked one lasted double the distance or time that the other one. But on light hobby machine like uh, this, light use, Hobby machines might not be that important. Of course, I will scrape it for alignment and scrape it for oil retention anyway, but um, to have these deep flake marks here might not be that important. But if I should flake this, it would be with a um, with, uh, hand flaker or hand scraper. I have flaked here just for show this uh, here, just so it is easy to see how flaking with the bike looks like and uh, rather in intriguing and eye, eye wash effect so I can understand why people want to flake. Uh, I'm not saying that and I mean do whatever you like but at least to my understanding my teach I've been taught flake the unexposed ways not the exposed ways because then you invite grit in a in a in a more aggressive way than if not. Okay, uh, so I'll show how to flake also, uh, which I've done before, but I can do it again. And then also show other means to obtain this um, uh, finish that we may want on an exposed surface. Uh, and for example, then the tripet grinding. <laughs> 